Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens. It is Dark Side of the Stream, episode 202. This week was my pick, a YouTube series you can watch, sports documentary called YouTube. Untold. Not YouTube, Netflix. Netflix, there we uh, go. Untold Sign Stealer, which is about the allegations surrounding the Michigan football sign stealing scandal and the man who was basically the fall guy for it, Connor Stallions. Who what a great for, name, first of all. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, could have had his. Could have he should have been a quarterback. A had a hell of a career in uh, in the front office somewhere, but unfortunately for him, that is over. I'm sure he'll find he'll find a job somewhere. Maybe at a football. Yeah, he sounds team. like he's good at doing uh, logistics and stuff like well, that's that. A lot. And... That's a big. That's a big need in in professional sports and uh, and obviously the NFL and or uh, college football, which is what we're talking about here. So let me ask you first out gate. Um, do you think? And I'm I'm not just talking about Michigan here. I'm talking about other teams that have done certain things like this in the past, i.e., like the Patriots, for example, in the beginning of the year, we're videotaping opponents' practices, right? Using that, right? Of course, this situation with the sign stealing. Do you think obviously there is a moral code here, but advantages are advantages? Right, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, here? Well, and they so it said like, everybody's doing it. They well, said everybody was stealing signs. It's just a thing. Are <laughs> it's just how you do it, and or how it's. I mean, it's not that that it's not going on in college football and or baseball. I mean, it's happened in baseball too. I, I mean, Astros. So I, again, I mean, of course you're gonna if if you to take it to its simplest form. If the pitcher's gonna throw the ball and he goes one, and that means a strike down the middle and you know he pulls one and then he's going to throw it you would say hey he's going to throw a strike that's just i mean so where does the there, line of moral well, of there, moral there, there, compass their idea i guess is if you record it using electronic devices and well or in, i guess in the baseball they were doing kind of that but they were like using noises on trash cans and stuff and to like to signal what was being done so like the guys in the in the bullpen would watch with the sign that the catcher would throw. Then they would make a noise based out there to let them know the batter know what was coming. Uh, I mean, again, I mean, it's so I guess I mean, it's it's again, it's a, it's a hard moral question. It's, to answer a, yeah, it's a gray area. It's, it, it you get you, you when you're in a competitive sport, you want to do everything you can to win. Right. right. And you watch you watch the last time you played the team, you watch the film, you watch how they dealt with you, you well, watch how they dealt like, with other teams. Say if it's a fight, you're fighting a, a somebody, you watch film on the guy. Hey, every mm -hmm. time he throws this right, he ducks this yeah, hand or a little he, bit. He makes this he does <clears throat> right. this kind of tick. Um, and we know that he's gonna do this. You know, that's just and like if you're in a battle with another country and you if you get a tip, hey, they're coming in from this area. I mean you're gonna use that. Yeah, you're gonna use it, man. You know, so it's a very it's a great it's area. a great area for sure, man. You but know, it seems to me like it, it's so prevalent. It like you said, everyone does it. Yeah, he said every team was doing it, and they had a network of guys talk. That was what I oh, thought how, was crazy. A yeah, whole network of guys, of guys. Is, again, it's it's so well, we'll talk more about this because I think it it's relative to the Chiefs and what's happening, guys, and obviously the internet's take on that. The Chiefs we, are stealing it, signs. No, but, but probably the refs I mean, are probably. on our the refs are on our oh, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah narrative. Yeah. I want to talk about that too because I think that's that's relevant and what this was about. We'll talk more about that next. Dark side of the stream on one hundred four point seven. The K. Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens, back in the studio, Dark Side of the Stream, episode 202. We're talking untold sign stealing. And it, of I'm course, a, I'm going to do 202 in signs. 202 here to steal. About, yeah, Don't steal my signs. Don't steal but... the signs. Uh, the uh, University of Michigan's alleged sign stealing operation. Uh, so, um, what I wanted to discuss, though, uh, because we, we talked a lot in the beginning about how it's a gray area. Obviously, you want your team to do everything they can to win. Teams prepare by watching video of the last time they fought that team, played that team, fought that guy, whatever, then you learn from it. Yeah, you watch film. There is it. obviously a line to where you can't go into secret closed doors practices and hide in there and set up, you know, hidden cameras. That's not cool. But this, I guess, is what they're saying is some of these guys would dress up in uh, costume and go to opposing teams' they games. Yeah, they seem to be – this was a pretty and, extreme operation. But it also – having – 
you watch when you watch people do this, you kind of go, well, obviously someone came up with this and this isn't the first time this guy obviously learned this from someone, right? It didn't like he just came in and was like, well, it's not that there's a do. lot of guys that do it. Yeah. And again, he, there were no, and he was involved with guys from other schools and we'll get into that in, in a minute. But before we do that though, I wanted to talk about, you know, the gray area and, and what, you know, what's right and what's wrong. Obviously the chiefs have become that team that everyone hates in every single time. Like the Patriots there's a, there's used to be. Call. It's like, well, the refs love the team. Well, it's easier for the NFL to sell that narrative, which is maybe the refs are, you know, or not, not, not sell it, but not dissuade it at all, as opposed to a overall officiating issue, which is what I've said for years. I say you can't let games come down to plays. And it's not just the Chiefs that get good plays or bad plays. I mean, hell, I think Patrick Mahomes has had more touchdowns called back than any other quarterback in the league. It's not. It's easier for the the general public to say, ah, the Chiefs are just going to get the love when they're the, winning. The, yeah, when, they're when they're winning, winning right. the NFL wants them to win, as opposed to everyone saying, actually, it's not just the Chief, Chiefs. Realistically, there is an officiating problem yeah. league wide. The, the NFL does not want that. Yeah. There's way too much money involved got to put in the validity it in the, of these these games. Yeah, they've got to put it in AI hands. They, they put it in the hands of AI. That might be coming, sir. That's, but I'm again, sure that's coming. The, they, there's too much money involved in this for them to say, well, actually, it might be our officiating crew. And in the same regard, the NCAA would have a huge problem on their hand if they actually stood up and said, you know what? This Stallions kid, yeah, he wasn't cool. And yeah, he did all this stuff for Michigan. And we're going to get them for this. And they're going to get they're going to get the violations and all the stuff handed down to them, as opposed to, you know what? It's not just him. It's actually a way bigger problem. It's yeah. you know, it's like Epstein all over again. It's it's Diddy. Well, there it, are so many people involved with those guys that we're probably never yeah, gonna hear every, about it. They're still in everybody's team. It's like, signs. oh, there's the fall guy. We're gonna get yeah, him, and he's the bad yeah, guy, yeah. and good guys win. It's like, no, the bad guys are still out there. Well, and, and they doing- know that it's happening too because they would do fake signs. A couple fake signs, well, a couple yeah. real signs, and then you'd have to figure decipher which is the fake is the real. That's so the, one of my they favorite. knew is it was everybody knew what was going on. That's one of my favorite, favorite uh things to talk about with in regards to college football with the fake signs, because there are guys that are literally hired to stand there and they'll hold up a giant the letter F. Yeah. And then a, and then it looks like a sign and you know, like a, a fence post. Yep. Right. And then the next time it's like a division. So signal, if you're trying to steal signs, sign you're like, okay, a, a you got to look at four different guys. <laughs> you got like, Yeah. What's that mean? Yeah. But some of it will be the code, you know, so it's, uh, but all this is now solved because of this, I guess, because this year they started doing in-ear monitors in the helmet. Finally, and I, well, finally and, for and college, it, right? It also is a, is a testament to how smart these players and quarterbacks and coaches actually have to be to not only memorize what they're doing, but try to memorize what the opponent's doing and then also memorize all the looks that they give you so that you know what that could possibly mean. Yeah. And that changes every single week. It's a lot, week. man. It's a lot. 20 weeks out of the year. Man, it's a lot. We're going to talk about this specific case next. It's the Michigan sign stealing untold dark side of the stream on 104.7. One hundred four point seven, the K. Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens, back in the studio. It is Dark Side of the Stream, episode two hundred two, discussing untold the sign stealing in sign stealer University of Michigan. Uh, of course, um, after these allegations went down, there was a big investigation with the NCAA. <laughs> Come to find out, this guy was, you know, wearing costumes. He had friends that he worked with at Central Michigan that were helping him. At the end of the day, Michigan got handed down some punishment this guy got is the fall guy he gets fired um but like i said what's interesting is that you have you've got two schools of thought one is the 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 hardcore dudes are like you stole your 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 cheaters you blah 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 you got this other side that's kind of like you know what when you look at that season they won a championship right they won them handedly right it wasn't like a question of winning by a score or court winning no, by they a played, point. they played great they played yeah. great but again, so some so some people are saying, well, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. 
But then again, it's like, I well, think even if, if it didn't matter, it still tarnishes your entire yeah, championship. Yeah, and if you if you have an advantage like that, Harbaugh's that's, that that's going to add yeah, up. Harbaugh's got that. Harbaugh's got that scarlet letter on him, and especially we just he's now the coach of the Los Angeles Chargers, and we just played him, and I'm looking at him the whole time, and I will always look at him as a cheater forever. No matter how yeah. good what about, of a uh, quarterback okay, Bill so Belichick, be, that's what I was going to say. Bill he's Belichick, always a cheater. Uh, so always. do you do you lump Tom always. Brady? Do you lump Tom Brady no. into that? Tom Tom Brady wasn't wasn't the one that was going in in but behind. He, but he benefited secretly. though from it, right? He did benefit. Not from in it. that secret. No, Bledsoe was the uh, I believe the quarterback when that happened. I want to say. It, I w- think it was Brady. You think it was Brady yeah. first year? Hold and on. remember when Sam Cassell came in and he played so great when Brady was out too, and it was, and then he didn't play great like that anywhere else. Let's get back in here. Spygate, right? Spygate is what they call. Yeah, it. Spygate. Uh, maybe it was. Yeah, it was Brady. Maybe, was, it man. Was. maybe it was. Maybe this whole thing is actually. Um, and that's why I'm saying, would Brady's legacy be a little tarnished by this I, as well? I don't want you. I mean, you're, I know where you're doing. You know, you're trying to, you're trying no, to poke no, me I'm just, I, I'm just, you know how I feel about that. I don't think you like Brady. No, I it's, you like not, Brady. It's, it's not that. It's just the whole, I get I get pissed off because it's like, you. I, I got an argument with a Chiefs fan about this. He was super into Brady. And I was like, what do you even care about that dude? A, B, he's not a great quarterback. You look at his stats and they are mid. The only thing that he's got is winning in playoffs and the rings. That's not him. Doesn't that he have the most? Doesn't he have the most? That's something an, though, right? He passed wins. Peyton Manning for the most wins. wins is that what it was? Postseason wins or touchdowns? Touchdowns? But yeah, but again, that's just because he was in the postseason so much. His division throughout their entire career was garbage. The AFC East, it or North, or no, it was the East. I think was complete dog. It was horrible. A B. It wasn't just him. It was the partnership between him, Belichick, and then, of course, the team that they built, where they were more interested in winning than having money and stars. Basically what the Chiefs are trying to do now. But Okay, I pulled it I, up. He has most passing yards, most passing touchdowns, most regular season wins, and most Pro Bowls, most completions. Holy cow, jeez. But he also has most attempts, most fourth quarter comebacks. That's a lot of mosts, man. Like, but but look dude. how long it took him to do it. And yeah, he did have a long those career. Records aren't going to stay. He did have a long career. And, I don't know, like, man. I'm not, Who's I'm not beat talking those? about wins. Those are a lot of those things that you just mentioned are team statistics. True. Yeah. Wins, completions, all those things involved other people. His stats are mid. But do you think they that, are mid? Do you think that? Some of that was aided by Spygate. Not him, no, no, no. But I would say again, it's always going to be tarnished to me. Yeah, it's is it is it a legitimate win? You know what I mean? Yeah. And you and you, as much as you want to celebrate your team's victory, if it's got stuff behind it, I'm always going to view Belichick as a cheater. Now, what about this? Now, what about this? Did they just they were the ones that got caught? And that's everybody what I'm does this. It, it, that's you why, know, that's everybody things, does that's it. All, that, so, that's how I yeah. started. It's easier yeah. for the NCAA to say these are the bad guys. And yeah. We got them. When in reality, I, would, I have a feeling. I mean, I have a feeling every team is doing everything they can to get an advantage. That's yeah. all. But there's a lot of money on the line. There's a lot of stuff on stake. People cheat at Monopoly. You know, so I'm saying you're going to cheat on the biggest People scale. Cheat at you the know, Monopoly yeah. game at McDonald's. Yeah. So you're going to definitely cheat at the biggest money scale possible. You know, yeah. there's people are going to do that. Yep. Try and gain an edge. So. Always. Uh, we'll be back next with our reviews of this sign stealing documentary. Next, Dark Side of the Stream on 104.7. The Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens, discussing life's greatest mysteries, Dark Side of the Stream, episode 202, <laughs> Untold, Sign Stealing. Who knew so we would have an intelligent after, conversation about yeah, this? May, well, it's because, this. you know, both of it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in this. And again, at the end of the day, <laughs> that championship that they won, God love them, is always going to have that. Tell asterisk. me this, on a deeper... Astros, your, your pennant, always going to have an asterisk. On a deeper level... Early 2000s Patriots, you're always going to have an asterisk. That's just the way I hang see on. it. Hang on. On a deeper level, 
do you think it's just human nature to try to gain an advantage? Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. So, well, so all what, of this comes down, whether it's guys doing steroids, about. whether it's uh, cheating, sign that's stealing. What we're talking about yeah, here. Human is nature. That where, what's the line? Who decides? And of course, are we actually like, again, like what's the validity? here right and and like i said it's easier for them to just say uh you know wrestler let's make mistakes but in reality it's it's an officiating issue it, of course and it's a consistency issue well they have that in the ufc too they yeah, have they, they complain about the judges all the time consistent. And yeah if you, and, and that's ultimately the problem with competitive sports is that you have to have a judge and we're always going to be judged by humans right until the perfect. until the robots take over the, then there's always going to be might a be the subjective answer. thing in there because it's how we perceive everything that we experience in life is subjective so it's tough i'm not saying i'm i'm perfect no, i can do it i could hell no there's no way i'm yeah not no. a gig for me no. it'd be tough as hell but at the end of the day i couldn't we're steal a sign money, i can't remember what i did 10 minutes ago i'm not gonna be able to steal a sign validity behind this thing it's it's got to be it's got to be done right in my opinion Either way, uh, watch it. Uh, uh, Jay, what are we watching next week? Boy, oh boy, what are we going to watch? Um, well, I guess we might as well do it before somebody else uh, does it. Uh, Chimp Crazy, made by the Tiger King people. It's on HBO Max. You might have to use your mom's account for this one, Mike. Okay. Uh, it is uh, about people that have chimpanzees as pets and treat them like humans. Weird. And it's it's... And it's right here in our stomping grounds. Lake of the Ozarks, baby. It's filmed at Lake of the of course, Ozarks. Of course, of course, it's Lake of the Ozarks. It's my uh, my weekend yeah, stomping like, grounds. Have you, had, have you had a chimp show up at one I almost stores? went to this chick's place last week, and my guitar player wanted to go to the petting <laughs> zoo that she still owns. So uh, it's it, it's an easy watch. And like I said, it's made by the Brad, Tiger King people. Brad, you don't want any part of that, Not man. Brad, Drew, 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 yeah. Drew, yeah. Drew, don't you want any part of that, man. Drew, he wanted to go touch face. pets and giraffes and monkeys. face off, Drew. Yeah, they they talk about that, too. It's pretty wild, yeah, man. Because they're wild animals and they're not domesticated. Either way, you can watch us do this live on Facebook every Thursday, 9 a.m. Uh, listen to it as a podcast uh, whenever you want on our app for free or listen to it during my show at 9 a.m. or Jay's show at 6 p.m. Or steal Thursday. our signs. I don't know if we got any. Either way, uh, I'm Mike the Intern. That's Jay Stevens reminding we watch you. We watch movies. Documentaries, so you, don't so you don't have, have to. to. It's Dark Side of the Stream. I'm 104.7 The Cave.